What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Ghana Independence Day, Woo! which means it's Independence Weekend. Woo! So basically, I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. And I say quick, cause I'm gonna try and make it quick. If I'm not looking at the cameras, cause I'm looking at the mirror, but I kinda need to be ready in about 20 minutes. Right now, I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm just going to Keep it cute, keep it simple, and wear a nice, cute, simple outfit, and then we move. Yeah, I'm not an MUA, so don't at me, but I always start with my eyebrows. I can't do eyebrows after. I don't know why, I just feel like it never applies properly over my um, foundation. I'm gonna do my brows quickly, and I'll speed it up, and then I'll get to the next bit. This is what happens when I get too carried away. I mess up my eyebrow. Okay, so now that my brows are basically done, the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, put my foundation on. But before I do that, I'm just gonna pop some primer on. So the two primers that I use are the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. Um, it's quite nice, it's illuminating, it feels smooth. Um, I use two primers, yeah, the Becca one first, after which I go in with my trusty Maybelline Baby Skin pore eraser that's pretty much the only primer i feel like actually fills that line so i typically just put it on that part pretty much and another crease that i have between the eyes here would i get botox to get rid of them <laughs> stay tuned to find out no i don't think i would but I would be willing to do, you know, like natural things, massages, whatever, 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 if it meant it would make a difference. So now my face is all primed, I'm going to use my foundation. Funnily enough, I bought a new foundation. It is um, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. Now the reason why this is funny is because Macau swears that this is her colour and I'm sorry, if you guys have seen Macau, me and Macau are nowhere near the same colour. So either i'm wearing the wrong foundation or she is but i'm gonna vote she is so i'll go back to vibing i'm gonna apply that and then we'll go to our next step All right, stop. collaborate and listen 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 so next thing I'm going to do um, before I contour is just do my under eye highlight. So I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 5W Deep Warm. Now you guys, this is one of my favourite songs. So basically, I'm gonna use Soft Honey by Bobby Brown. This is the powder that I use for under my eyes. They used to have it in a loose powder, but unfortunately, they no longer have it in a loose powder. Therefore, I'm having to use it in a pressed powder. But we have to make it work, Sha. So I'm just gonna...
Um, I'm basically using the Milan lashes from Primark. They're a 5R each, so they're not the cheapest lashes, but also they're not expensive, so that's really that. I usually wear the Kylie lash, but um, yeah, I can't be asked to wear that one today, and this one was handy, so I'm just going to wear Milan today. Hopefully, it will look nice on my eye look. Would you not think of my eye look? I thought I'd do something a little bit different today because I'm wearing a very boring outfit. Once I finish with my eyes, I'm going to do lips, and then um, I'm going to do my edges, basically, because I am now going out like this, and I'm probably going to pop a scrunchie in, get dressed, etc. May or may not take you lot with me. May or may not turn this into a vlog. Who knows? I might as well, actually, since I'm going to be going out again tomorrow for independence so yeah i'll probably bring you lot with me but anyway let's put my lashes on shall we don't know how this is gonna go in it so nobody at me So we're gonna do lips now. My favorite part. So I line my lips quite dark generally. Cork isn't really dark enough for me. And when I say cork, I mean cork by Mac in case you're not familiar. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably use cork and bittersweet um, and see how that turns out. I have a bunch of lip glosses. So I have a basket, a basket full, <laughs> a basket full of glosses. So I don't know which one to choose, which is why the whole basket is on my lap, but we're gonna see what looks best. Like I said, I wanted to a bit of pizzazz because um, my outfit's gonna be very boring. Um, we're only going for food and drinks, so it's nothing too serious, but um, yeah, it's kind of impromptu, so that's why, that's why I didn't plan anything fancy. I'm probably going to wear the bodysuit that I showed you guys in my Zara haul with some Topshop leather pants and my khaki comme de garçons. That is the likely outfit. Um, and now just throw a jacket on it. Because you know this England, you can't die. Um, probably gonna use my favorite lip gloss, which is Bobbi Brown Nougat. I just think it's so nice. <laughs> That's literally all I can say about it. But usually I need like a base color before I put that one on. So I'm gonna go for NYX in Madeline. I find this colour too pale so that's why I don't use it on its own to be fair I'm gonna go over it with Kiko in um, 08 the 3d hydro gloss before I put nougat on just because I feel like it needs a bit of cheeky bit of pigment nougat's not the most pigmented lip gloss ever I mean it is but it's again it's a paler colour Nougat is basically the two colours I just mixed together and mixed together, but it gives a better shine. Like, look at that gloss. That is a good shine. <laughs> like, that is a good shine. Okay, now that I'm satisfied with my makeup, I'm just gonna go again with some setting spray. I have very, very, very dry skin, so I tend to use setting spray more than once, um, and I don't really set my entire face um, more, than, more than once, so yeah. Right, so I don't know if you lot watched my get ready with me, but if you did, you know that I don't have a toothbrush for my edges. So I'm just going to use this little brush that I have from an old, um, an older eyebrow pencil that don't nobody use no more. That just kind of stays. You know, you have those things that just stay in your collection. It's one of them things. Um, but yeah, let me quickly do my edges, and then hopefully. My girl will be ready and then we'll be out here. Okay, so my edges are done. I'm just gonna get some 
scalp oil in because you can't be having you can't be out here with a dry scalp even though to me these braids have maybe two days left in them um i'm just gonna make sure that we get a bit of shine going I may or may not have got scalp oil on my face, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when I look at the big mirror. Um, now I think I actually did genuinely get some on my face all my days. Okay, now that my scalp is all greased up and my edges are done, I'm gonna slap a scrunchie on because I'm gonna have my hair tied back like so and i'll get dressed just quick details on the robe in case you like it um and it's different to the one that i was wearing in my previous video so you might be intrigued this one is from victoria's secret i love robes i have about four different like silk robes if you like it and um, this one's from victoria's secret and the previous one was from primark anywho let's get dressed okay you guys sorry for the really harsh light but i wanted you to see my scrunchie in the back my camera's charging um, so I'm just using my phone really quickly but I ended up opting for a bodysuit the one like I said from Zara and I've just worn some blue jeans and put this leather shirt over it so yeah this is the fit also I've added cute little L necklace and I'm wearing my Apple watch obviously for style I might match my watch with my phone case might not I think it's finally time to go so we're gonna go grab some food and yeah I'll probably only take my phone with me to vlog so hopefully the lighting is good if not then might not vlog it <laughs> Okay. I always have ID. So we're arriving now. Yeah, yeah, I always bring ID. Because there's actually no more food left, so. what's going on guys it's a new dawn it's a new day my lip is a bit stiff because basically i bust my lip i bust my lip my clumsiness is trying to dumb my dance i it even hurts to talk oh my gosh because the inside is cut but it's opened my sister's car door and i smacked the door against my lip so yeah i'm gonna have to like it's not swollen anymore because i iced it <laughs> but i need to get ready i have about 50 minutes before it's time to leave so i'm gonna do my makeup quickly um etc and then i'm still gonna go out i'm sorry i literally can't die my mouth is hurting but it's not too bad and i'd rather not stay in tonight so yeah got independence part two yo a crumb okay guys so my makeup is done my parents are home so if you hear background noise and that's it i'm wearing a black scrunchie today and keeping the hair down rather than wrapped back i really want to show you guys my dress but i don't know if i'll be able to do like an outfit check but yeah basically ready to go i don't really want to wear anything on my decolletage area but these are the earrings i've opted for do you think they're too much to be honest i'm too much i am damn too much and you know that i am damn too much and you know that <laughs> so i think i'm gonna wear them anyway i'm gonna take off my apple watch and put on a little um this cute tennis bracelet that i got for my birthday and then yeah i think i'm basically ready i'm just gonna wait for fast and then we're gonna screw screw over okay friends so i thought it would be unfair to not show my outfit because quite frankly i look delectable so <laughs> this is what i am wearing it's like calf length but I just think it's very, very nice. I got it from Topshop in a sale in the summer and it was something silly, like £11, but I just thought, slap it on. Um, so, I'm out. We're finished, it's cold, it's cold. I can't live like this. Yeah.
Okay guys, it's literally like 5.40, 5.45, me and my bus lit are home. That concludes Independence Weekend, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. My voice is gone, but thanks for watching, bye.